people are by this world of Twin Bros. In this video, we're going to show you how to find the Genesis uh, figure in DAS 2 to 4.12. Uh, this is probably not so important to you experienced users of DAS Studio, but for the beginners and inexperienced uh, users of DAS Studio, this might come in handy. You can see here we've opened up DAS Studio 4.12, and we've already loaded the Genesis character, but we're going to go ahead and show you where to find it. So and it doesn't matter which uh, style and layout you have. Uh, basically, you're going to find the Genesis character in the content library. So we've already selected it here on this tab uh, in your layout, of course. Just go ahead and select it. Then you're going to find it under DAS Studio Formats, and then you go expand that. And then it's going to be under My DAS 3D Library. Go ahead and expand that out. And that's where you can find most of the stuff that you're going to use in DAS Studio, if it's DAS Studio specific. So then you're going to go down to People, and then you expand that. And then, of course, there it is, Genesis. Once you click that tab, or that, excuse me, that folder, you'll see there's the Genesis character. Now, uh, the way Daz has created most of their products, they like the stuff specific to a character, like the Genesis, to be inside that folder. So if we go ahead and expand the Genesis folder, you can see we have a lot of stuff here. So if you want to see which figures work with the Genesis uh, character, those will be down here. Here under characters, I mean, excuse me, other characters, I should say characters. And if you click that, you can see all the different characters that we've purchased and loaded uh, that work with the uh, Genesis uh, figure. So, and basically, what you would do is you can actually load these directly up. They're all actors inside Death Studio. Or if you already have the Genesis loaded and you want to just apply them, you could click it, then double click one of these, and it'll ask you to apply it to that character. Because you might have a clothing outfit you've already put on it, or a pose, or something like that. So that's the reason sometimes you might apply a character uh, to the figure after the fact. Typically, though, you would just load it straight up right here uh, into the scene without actually applying it to a loaded Genesis character. You can see here, if you want to put clothing on it, you'll we'll expand this out a little bit. You can see uh, there's a whole lot of stuff in here. We'll just go down here to Artemis, Artemis X. So here's some belt pieces you can apply. Uh, and then all kinds of clothing in the clothing. And it all depends on what you've purchased and installed. So remember that. It's not a, not all of it's included with DAS Studio. You have to go out and uh, either download the free stuff or purchase it. Uh, here's the hair folder. So you can apply hair to the uh, character. And since Genesis is a... Uh, unisex figure, uh, male and female, I'll show you that in just a moment. You'll see that uh, there's different stuff in here, like here this uh, April SH hair is a female hairstyle. Oh, and here's a male, here's a, hair, a male one, and there's female ones. Let me go back up into characters, and I'll just show you that real quick. If we go into characters, we click to characters, you'll notice that we have the basic child, if you just want a child character, and the basic female, and the basic male. So. Uh, these are the three that come with the Genesis uh, by default when you get it so that you can change this unisex character. You can leave it. Uh, you're not like, likely to leave it this way. Uh, you can apply one of these or you apply one of the other uh, characters you have purchased or downloaded. And then, of course, there is uh, the poses folder if you want to apply poses to the character. Go down here. There's a sitting pose for the uh, aircraft spitty. Uh, and there's all kinds. There's basic female poses, there's basic child poses, and the basic male poses. And those three, I believe, come default with the Genesis character when you get it. So you can get started right away. So there's all kinds of stuff here for the Genesis in the content library. However, one of the big things these days is smart content. So what we're going to do is I'm going to unselect everything in the scene real quick. So we're going to go to the smart content tab. And in your layout, it'll be whatever. So... Uh, in smart content, we just have all products here, but if we click the Genesis, we'll select Genesis over here, and then uh, I believe it'll either be, let me go down here to available, installed, on, uh, let's see if we can, uh, okay, so here we have one product that's, an update is available for the Zoe for Victoria 5, oh, I'll go back and show you those in just a minute, uh, but available, let's see if we got anything available. And these are available strictly for the Genesis character because I have them selected and seen. If you see, if I unselect him, it changes what's in the box. This is just be all products. So <clears throat> if you want to check smart content that's specific to the character you have loaded, you'd actually click that character. Then when you're in the smart content tab, it'll tailor it to that particular 
uh, figure or prop that you have uh, in, uh, selected. So let's go back really quick. I want to show you that one last thing about the Genesis characters. If you didn't notice, <clears throat> like here, uh, like Ico 5, it's Freak 5, uh, Hero, Hero 5, or Hyro 5, however you want to pronounce it, Stephanie 5. So the level 5, uh, the fifth generation characters are the ones that work with the Genesis. So if you happen to get a free, like a Victoria 5 or a Michael 5 or or any of those, uh, this is where uh, you'll, you'll know they're, they lo they're loaded with the Genesis character. So it's nice to know that, that the fifth generation applies to the uh, Genesis character. And what we'll do, with, we're just going to show you really quick how to apply one of these. Um, let's go with this troll. Yeah, there's and there's some characters that are specific to the Genesis that aren't necessarily humano humanoid. Uh, just could be other creatures and stuff. So basically, we select a Genesis. We go ahead and we'll double click it, and it's going to show this little pop up. Now, if we wanted to load the troll as a separate entity in addition to Genesis, we go ahead and load a new figure into the scene. But since we want to change this one into the troll, let's say we had already posed it or something. Actually, uh, well, in fact, let me just go back. We'll qu quickly put a pose on him and show you how that's going to work. Let's just go, I know it's an awkward pose for a troll, but we'll just put that on there. Then we'll just go back up here. Oops, there it is. And we'll put the troll on there. So we still have Genesis selected. We're going to pose there. We're going to apply the troll. We'll say apply this character so currently selected, accept. And we'll just uh, be right back in a second. And so there you see, we got the troll in that pose. Like I said, it was a little awkward pose for a troll, but hey, who knows? Um, so that would be one of the advantages of applying it to a character you haven't seen. You might have developed the style, uh, like with all the clothing and the hair and the poses, and said, oh, gosh, I don't want that to be the default Genesis male or female. I want that to be Michael 5, Stephanie 5, Victoria 5, whatever. So you can just select it in the scene tab and apply that other character, and it'll work that way. We hope you enjoyed this video presentation. Please consider visiting our website at https colon slash forward slash forward slash www.wonderbos.com. Have a great day.